friends, myself, Rajshayar from Dheerajal Gandhi College of Technology, Sela. Today, we are going to demonstrate the speed control of DC shunt motor. A DC shunt motor is an electric device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. That is from power to torque. Here, the supply is this DC supply. Therefore, it is known as DC shunt motor. This is shunt motor are used in centrifugal pumps, wooden instruments, layers, etc. A DC shunt motor has two windings. One is armature winding and another one is field winding. This armature winding will be in parallel to the field winding. We generally have it as F1 and F2 and A1 and A2. For constructing the speed control of the motor, the speed has to be varied because if only if the speed is varied, the motor can be operated in various speeds. That is slow value to high value or high value to slow value. As we already know, there are two windings. One is arch winding, another one is field winding. By limiting the current values to these windings, we can vary the speed of the descent motor. So, if you adjust the flux induced in arch you can use the arch control method. If we adjust the flux induced in field winding, it is known as field control method. Initially, the positive or negative DC supply is selected, which is in the range of 220 volt supply. Here, we are using a DPST switch that is double pole, single throw switch, and we are using a fuse arrangement which is of 25 amps. This fuse is used for limiting the starting inrush current. And we are using a three point starter which has points L, F, A, L for line, field, and armature points. And we are using two rheostats, two variable rheostats one for field winding and another one for armature winding. In series to the field winding, an ammeter, DC ammeter in the range of 0 to 2 amps is used to check the ammeter current and we are going to use a voltage meter that is volt meter in the range of 0 to 300 volt which is connected in parallel to the armature winding. Initially we need a DC shunt motor which carries 3 HP 230 volt 1500 rpm and we need a tachometer to measure the speed that is a digital tachometer and we have two video starts one is of 50 ohms 5 amps rating and another one is 350 ohms 1.5 amps rating and we are using a DC ammeter MC type it is moving coil and we are using a DC voltmeter which is the range 0 to 300 measurements and we are going to adopt the MCB and the 3 point starter. This 3 point starter has a no volt, no volt coil and a more load coil and has studs in it. We have already given the connections to the DC center motor for connecting the speed control. I am going to tell you how it has been connected. Initially, from the positive of the MCB, that is DPST, they are giving connection to the L of the three point starter. And from the negative, they are going to give the connection to the A1 point of the armature. And from F of the three point starter, they are going to give the connections to the field side view star, that is 350 ohms view star. And from A point, they are going to give the connection to the armature side rheostat that is 50 ohms rheostat and another point of the field rheostat is given connection to the ammeter positive point and from ammeter negative point the connection is given to the field winding and from the armature rheostat the connection is given to the armature points from A1 point the connection is given to the voltmeter positive terminal and from the negative point of the voltmeter, the connection is given to the A2 point of the armature. The F2 point and A2 point is short circuit. If 
before uh, starting the motor, we have to check whether the armature rheostat is in maximum position and the field rheostat in minimum position. As we already know, there are two types of speed control. One is armature control and another one is field control. Armature control means armature voltage will be varied with field current in constant. In field control, the field current will be varied with armature voltage constant. First, I want to start the motor for armature control method. Start the MCB and vary the three point starter to start the motor. After the motor is started, vary the field stride your start for obtaining the speed value. For example, I am setting the field current in 0.4 amps. Here, we want to check the corresponding voltage value 180 and the speed as here we get 1200 rpm speed next we want to vary the armature rio star for getting multiple voltage and speed values if you see here means the field current will be in constant and the armature voltage will be varying according to the variation in rio stars field control method answer motor is continuously working here the voltage of the armature should be kept constant and the field current is very and we are going to take the readings initially i am setting the voltage here as 190 volt for this 190 volt constant value i am going to vary the field current and going to calculate the values see the current value is reduced and according to that value I am going to check the speed of the motor using the tachometer. Here I got 1234 rpm value. Before setting up the motor safety is very important for the equipment not to damage. So the value of the reverse start is set in the back in the normal position that is high value for armature and low value for field and here the Three point starter should not be touched, only the MCB is tripped down. Automatically, the three point starter will get ready. Now, in armature control method, the field value is expected constant. For example, we take as 0.5 or 0.6 or 0.7. For that particular one constant value, we have to plot the graph. To show me, you will get the graph in like this low. For example, yeah, I have 1, 0.5 amps means, other value 0.6, the curve will be in this wise, in arbitrary control method. In field control method, the real value is kept as constant, that is arbitrary voltage will be constant value. If you draw the graph for this constant value, for speed and then IF, that is field current, the graph will be in this position. VA1, VA2 and then VA3 respectively for the voltages. So, what you can understand is in field control method, the voltage will be in constant so that the speed will be reduced gradually if the field current is increased. In armature control method, the field current is kept constant and if you vary the voltage of the input, the speed will be increased gradually. The saturation. I hope you have understood the how the speed control of DC control motor has to be demonstrated. Check in your lab whether you get the readings as I told. Thank you for watching the video.